I'm the president of the Swiss Internet User Group, which is a small Swiss NGO. And I am here because I want to be here. And the Siuk thinks, OK, if he wants to go, it's all right. <laughs> so one of my reasons for wanting to be here is that I actually work with the internet. I care for the net. And I also do some research related to the spam issue. So this is a very good place to talk with people and get better connected to the people who also work in this area. I think the most impressive experience was actually not a workshop, but the setting the scene session, which was perhaps a gigantic workshop. And I found that actually productive. So I was so impressed that something actually productive happened. I had not expected that. What happened during the session? Well, some understanding was created, some actual conversation with listening and building upon what others had said. It's not the normal kind of thing that you see at conferences. Normally, you get a lot of people who just want people to listen what they say. And then afterwards, in the corridors, you can get some real discussions and perhaps get something moving in a good direction. With this setting the scenes, mm -hmm. It was primarily about uh, this whole idea of multi-stakeholder dialogue, how we can go forward. One uh, big idea that was discussed is the elephant analogy. Suppose you have three blind men, each touching different parts of an elephant. One touches the trunk on the side, he will say, the elephant is like a wall. The other guy who touches the tail is the elephant is like a rope. And of course, they are all wrong. And maybe this is how we are in relation to the internet. We each see such a small part of this very complex reality. And the only way of getting a more balanced view is to really engage with other stakeholders who have a quite different perspective, thereby seeking to obtain a more rounded picture of the whole thing. I can't really speak about the others, but I mean, I came here wanting to do something and I will go away without having lost my desire to do something. But now having perhaps a more rounded perspective and understanding how other people think that when then I will communicate my ideas, I will have a better chance of being actually understood. Um, that it stays useful. I think my greatest fear is that some monopolistic company, say Microsoft, creates a tool that is what we call a DRM system, Digital Restrictions Management. They call it Digital Rights Management. Hollywood would be happy so that people can only copy films or music as the entertainment industry allows them. But the way to make that work is to really restrict what a computer can do. And then you can no longer just decide with some friends or people who think similarly to you, this is how we want information and communication te technology to work and implement that and use the technology that you create to implement the kind of processes that you like. So I think that would kill much of the potential of this whole technology. I don't know. And I think the big 
question about equitable access is the economics of it. Some company must have a business interest to provide it, and the customers must actually be able to pay for it. So that's a big issue. How are they going to pay for that much needed underseas cable around the east coast of Africa? Who's going to pay for it? And why? I feel every human being has a responsibility uh, to have a heart that cares for our neighbor. And on today's world, that includes people in Africa who are in an economic situation where you really need good communication technology to have any chance of creating sustainable business. So I think it's every human being's responsibility. And of course, I mean, it's good if businesses can be made to share in that responsibility, but even if they cannot in some business structures, they are just so focused on shareholder value based on how the whole business is structured, so that really the business cannot be philanthropic. Then you have people who own those businesses, who when they are rich one day, they spend some of their money on good things, which is, I think, a bit of a waste. It would be more useful to have the business structured in a way that it's not just about money, but how to do that is also a question. Crazy. <laughs> Great.